Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn video on how digital light processing projectors work. In the previous video we looked at LCD projectors, had a look at how they work. So today we're going to look at the other common type of projector which is a digital light processing projector. Okay, so first of all let's introduce you to the components that you're going to see in the animation in a minute. Uh, we've got a lamp and that shines a light out and that shines onto the condensing lens which then passes through, focuses the light onto a colour wheel and then the colour wheel allows certain colours of light to pass through depending on how it's aligned and that then light goes through a shaping lens and then the shaping lens focuses the light onto the digital micromirror device. Uh, this is the clever component in the system. It's actually a grid of thousands or hundreds of thousands of tiny electromechanical tiltable mirrors. So if you pass a charge through any of those individual mirrors on that uh, device then they will either tilt or they will not tilt depending on the charge that you pass through and that allows light to be directed or not directed depending on um, what you want onto a, an enlarging lens and the enlarging lens just takes the light and enlarges it so that you can send it on to the projector screen where it will be displayed. Okay, so let's have a look at that in action. So here you can see you've got the lamp and the lamp shines out a white light. It goes through the first lens, it gets directed through the color wheel and then depending on where it's rotating at that time, you'll either pass through red or green or blue light, which then goes through the next lens which directs it onto the micromirror device and as you can see here with the micromirror depending on which ones of the mirrors have been activated have been tilted it will then focus certain amounts of light onto the right components and these digital micromirror devices have literally hundreds of thousands of those tiny little little aluminium mirrors that are movable and that, that allows you depending on whether the mirror is tilted or not it will allow you to draw an image on the screen now because this system uses a color wheel it only displays each individual color channel at any one time so first it will go through and it will display whatever image it's trying to display of the green component then it will go through and display the red component and then it will go through and it will display the blue component of the image. So in theory you'd actually get three separate images, one green, one red, one blue. However, it does that so quickly that it's beyond the human eye's ability to recognize those three separate colors. So the human brain blends all of those into one single image. And that's what you can see at the bottom there with the three different color images all put together onto one. And there you go, it's slowed down again now, so you can see it's just doing individual ones. Um, so that's, the, that's how digital light projectors work. They just rotate through three different colors and use a digital micromirror device here to either reflect the light onto the lens to be dis uh, displayed, or if it doesn't need it, then it will be tilted a different angle and usually that light goes off to a heat sink to absorb the heat because the uh, lamp will be producing quite a lot of heat. Now obviously this is only doing on or off, this is a digital on or off. So if you want to do uh, brighter or dimmer images because you're going to want to do grayscale or different brightnesses of red or green or blue or all the colors that you want to do, the way we can do that is we use another trick of computing that tricks the brain where because we can't turn the, the, the mirrors on or off slightly, we can only turn them completely on or off, what we do is use pulse width modulation. So if you want it at 100% 100, uh, 100 brightness, then you just leave that mirror open for the full duration that's needed. So for instance here, I've said 0 0.01 second, a hundredth of a second. But if you want it on 50% brightness, then what you would do is whilst that color is being displayed, the red or the green or the blue, you'd simply turn that mirror on or off at a certain amount of time. So here at 50% brightness, you'd leave the mirrors on half of the time and you just go on, off, on, off, on, off halfway. And if you wanted 20% brightness, 
then you just turn them off re on and off really, really quickly, but with a bigger gap in between. And because your human eye can't see that quickly, instead of seeing it as an image flashing on and off really, really quickly, it will perceive it as a, a brighter or a dimmer image. Okay, so that's how digital light projectors work. Let's just do a quick review. So the process, a single bright white light source is shone for a series of lenses and a color wheel, which to output individual colors of light. The light is then directed onto a micro mirror device where each pixel either reflects the light towards the lens or onto a heat sink, depending on whether voltage is applied to that individual uh, pixel or not. And the light is then passed, uh, then the light then passes through the lens and onto a projection screen. And it works incredibly quickly, changing color over 50 times per second. Uh, and the light from all three separate red, green, and blue images are all blurred together in, by the human eye, and they form a single full color image. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or any comments or suggestions, then please leave a comment. Thank you very much.